the greatest enemies. The warriors of Asgard have as much care for the life of each of their sword brothers as they do for their own. into shield's rim, but the wall does not break. Spear thrusts through a gap to find its target in soft flesh, but the wall does not break. Axe smashes through a hell, causing the wearer to stagger in pain, but still the wall does not break. for his shield wall to push back. The warriors of Asgard plant their feet in the firm ground and bit by bit they force their enemy from them. And so the sons of Muspel retire their lives to nurse their wounds and wonder at the strength to burst through the enemy and scatter the sons of Busmel like chaff before a mighty storm. The charge causes the battle to fragment. The time for shield walls is past as each man strives and slays as best he can. No time now for cunning weapon craft. No feints or subtle strategies. Shields are lowered. Sword arms tire. Blows become slower and heavier as strength flows from exhausted limbs. And now, in the pale moonlight, we see Odin locked in mortal combat with Fenrir. While they battle with swords, Fenrir still seeks to bring Odin close enough for his fearsome jaws to strike. But the old farmer hurls him back into the throng, which swallows them up, even as Odin is finally overwhelmed by his old enemy. And one by one, the warriors fall. No battle was ever so weary as this. No war ever so final. With the victorious, exhausted to the point of death, and barely more alive than a defeated fallen. Heimdall and Loki are down. Odin is no more. Elsewhere, Thor has killed the serpent Jormungand, only to take nine steps before tumbling himself to the cold earth overcome by the beast poison. Likewise, the victors sink to their knees and lean upon their swords. For all their heroism, for all their courage, their struggles could not hold back the end. nearly at death's door with their exhaustion. The last stragglers bearing bloody standards 